So this is Jason at the Constant Craftsman, and today we're looking at the the new Fisker's Momentum Real Mower. Now this is a uh, not the kind of mower that most people would want to have. Uh, it's all man powered, so as you can see, no engine. Got the blades up front. This is a very sturdy feeling piece of equipment. Um, it's got multiple settings for the handle height uh, and also multiple settings for the height of the actual blade. So supposedly you can take this thing up to four inches um, in terms of uh, cutting off four inches of uh, height on the grass, um, but we'll definitely find out. We have some long grass out here today uh, in this in this lawn. And uh, so we're going to find out what this thing is capable of doing. So uh, sit back and relax for my little uh, experiment with the Fisker's Momentum Real Mower. Now one thing I want to point out on this, as you can see on here, is that this thing shoots out the grass, shoots it forward. You can see that right there, which really makes it nice because actually you go over it multiple times as you push it forward um, rather than kicking it out behind you, which makes a big mess and gets all over you. So, really nice little feature that they added on there that's different from all the other mowers you see out there. to point out that the real tall grass you see here this stuff is not getting picked up by the mower it's just too tall so it, the, the blades aren't high enough to actually do this and even if I had the blade set at the highest level it still wouldn't pick this stuff up so really basically the point is don't let your grass grow this long or you're gonna be out doing the old weed whacker all over your lawn which I'll be doing for this first round but I'll tell you what it does cut really nice you can see the different levels right here and this is pretty thick grass right here and you can see how thick that is and it cut right through it now you have to push a little bit hard to get that to cut through there but you know it's a bit of a workout it's not it's not impossible by any means and it's not ridiculously hard to make this thing you know kind of a nightmare to deal with but well, my wife was doing it, and I was doing it, and, you know, as long as you don't have a large, crazy lawn, uh, it's really not going to be that big of a deal. But so far, my first impression is that this thing works pretty well. You can see the path that I've cut through the grass on both sides there, and, uh, and it's doing a pretty good job. So, again, really impressed so far, and uh, I guess we'll see in the long run how this thing turns out for us. Okay, so we're all done mowing the lawn, and what I ended up doing was taking two passes just to make sure I got up as much of the clippings as I could and uh, any straggling blades of grass that didn't get cut with the first pass. Now again, my lawn was pretty long, and so what I'll probably do is wait a couple days and then go over it again. Um, just to get it when it's when it's drier because it was actually pretty wet and you can see you can see all the grass clippings here and I'll uh, you know there's a this was really thick stuff down here and so um, you know this stuff's gonna have to get raked this first time um, and but in the areas where the grass wasn't that long um, you don't have that type of heavy 
uh, clipping that's going to be impeding the grass from from growing the way it should. Um, a lot of that stuff is, is great mulch, as most of you know. But um, yeah, overall, um, now I'm in Texas, so it's it's hot out here, and I got a good sweat doing this. But um, you know, I've had other mowers before, um, gas-powered mowers, so I have a lot of experience using them. Um, and what I will say is that even with wet, thick grass on a, on a gas-powered mower, um, you're going to get this type of um, this type of clipping on the ground. Um, it may do a little bit better if you go over with a gas-powered mower a couple times, but but uh, you're still going to get this type of thing if you let your lawn get too thick. So. Um, really impressed and I think that um, once we get into a point where we're doing this regularly and we are uh, cutting it when it's not so long I think it's gonna be actually pretty nice to be out here mowing it was really nice you know sound wise um, it's hardly noisy at all compared to a gas powered mower um, again you get decent exercise and uh, you know for those of you who out there who aren't into the, the green movement all that much uh, this isn't going to be a big deal and for those of you who are into the, the high powered stuff um, this probably isn't going to be your choice of mower but um, I gotta tell you for a couple hundred bucks actually uh, it was hundred and ninety three dollars to be exact with a with a with a coupon I had for um, ten percent off so for that price um, I feel like I got a pretty good deal and uh, a couple things to point out on the mower here. I did find that um, there's some settings right here on the side. Um, this cotter pin right here, you can pull it off along with the one on the other side and adjust the height of the the handle. And that makes it so that you don't have to hunch over as much when you're pushing it and also um, that it's not rising up in the air when you're uh, when you're going forward either. Um, if it's rising up in the front, um, you know, kind of like this, then it's not going to be providing a good cut and, and getting as close to the, the level that you want or as even of a cut as you want. So you really want to make sure that this handle is positioned accurately um, to get the most effective uh, cut action that, uh, that you're looking for. So overall, um, you know, it did a really good job and so I'm happy with it so far it's the first cut uh, I might uh, give a, a review after I've been doing it for a while and uh, and follow up with that but yeah Fisker's momentum real mower pretty pretty good stuff so that's all for now